So I've been joined by visiting manager from Haringey, Tom Loizu, after the game today. Um, bit of an epic 1-0 win for you today. Yeah, it's uh, it's been epic from the start of the season, to tell you the truth. Uh, there's games we lost we shouldn't have, and today was just as hard as any other game. Um, really difficult for the players, especially with the injuries we've got, and uh, I think we've picked up a few more today. Okay. And it uh, doesn't help when you go down to 10 players, does well, it? Well, I was just going to mention, we hadn't actually said yet that you yeah. did go to 10 men, yeah. what, probably within the first five minutes. Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to see um, whether the player tripped, was tripped or took a dive or the referee saw something no one else saw. Um, hopefully you lot put it on YouTube so we could have a look at it as well because it's educational for us as well. Maybe starting position, the left back wasn't, wasn't that great, but I'm 50, 60 yards away, I don't think there was any contact there. And I'm, I'm hoping you'll put it on YouTube or at least send me the footage. Well, it'll certainly be the hi in the highlights, I'm sure. Yeah. But uh, you must have been pretty proud of the uh, reaction of your players. I mean, yeah. uh, to be fair, they kept Carl yeah. Shorten at bay for most yeah. of the game. The chances yeah. were half chances at best. Yeah, we, look, we've, we've been working on it since last season. Um, you know, we drew a lot of games last season where I thought we should have won them. And we just uh, had to install dig in and dig yourselves out of trouble and that's exactly what they've done today. They worked very, very hard and we, to be fair, we frustrated Carl Shorten, you know. Sometimes it's worse to play against 10 players and that was the, uh, that was the fact today. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, you know, congratulations on the win today and hopefully you can play with 11 in future games. Hopefully, I mean, look, I had a word with the referee at half-time and I, uh, it goes with most referees. If they, because they're young, if they referee with a little bit of personality, they find the players will respond a little bit better. Like rather than just give him a yellow card, don't even explain and get, in, and get involved in their banter. He's a, he's a good up and young coming referee. They've just got to use their personality a, a little bit. It's not just rules uh, to go by. If they use their personality, my players will respond and so will anyone else. You know? And um, hopefully, he, I'm an experienced manager, like hopefully he takes something out of that and makes him, makes him a better ref. That's all I could say. It's very hard, very difficult for any man in the middle. So. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't do it, I couldn't do it, so, you know, and they're always there f uh, to take criticism, unfortunately. Sometimes we overdo it, but if they concentrate on a little bit more on running the game with their personality, I think they get a lot further and, uh, and climb the ladder a lot quicker. Okay. Well, that criticism aside, well done on the win today. Thank you very much. All right. Cheers, Tom. OK, so a frustrating afternoon here at Colston Avenue as uh, Car Shorten Athletic went down 1-0 to Haringey Borough. Um, I should imagine that's one of your most f more frustrating afternoons as a manager. No, not necessarily. I, I wouldn't say frustrating is a word. I say abysmal. <laughs> let's, let's be cut to the chase. You know, we've done really well. Get the player got sent off, whether it's right or wrong. Playing against ten men, and the players showed they're incapable of following instructions, which we gave them in the first half, um, and it's cost them. You know, I, I'm, I just said the staff have done all their work against on Haringey this week. Give them all the information. Started really well. Got inside them. You know, if it's if it's sending off, not too sure because it's too far away. But the refs give it. Now you've got to do what we've asked them to do and keep the ball wide. But for some reason, our so-called players wanted to play through the middle, where they was compact and they just kept winning the ball and broke. And we completed the cardinal sin by leaving ourselves vulnerable, playing the ball through the middle, getting cut out breaking and scoring and mm. they're going to do what any team does down to 10 men they're going to show gamesmanship and they've done very well at it you know they they touch the line very close but never never over it where they was going to get another booking so fair play them for that we'd do the same you know because it's hard playing against uh, let me rephrase that it's not hard playing against 11 if the 11 don't want to do the hard stuff and i've just said to the boys in there i'm not telling you any different to what i told them last week we run hard we worked hard created chances scored goals and put our foot in. Today, because they were down to 10 and sat off, we thought we were excellent footballers. And they saying they've got to get out of their game because they're OK footballers. And I'm not going to beat about the bush here. They're OK footballers. But they've got to learn to win first before they can play their nice football. Mm. And, I mean, just on the 10 men, do you think yep. it did make it more difficult in a way? Just because, as I say, they did play it very well. I mean, they defended superbly, I thought. Yeah, they did. Credit to them. They've done very, very well. But if you've got 11 against 10, there should be some spaces on the park and you should exploit them spaces, whether it's 1v1 or 2v1. And we never done that because we didn't want to do it. You know, you look at last week, we were flooding ball, uh, people into the box. I think you look today, we may have had one or two in the box at each time. And that ain't good enough. Mm -hmm. So we was our own downfall. 
And the reason we were on down for is because players were reluctant to do or replicate what they did last week to get the three points. And like I say, it's a new squad. Um, can't keep saying that. But as I said to them in there, they're either on the journey with us or they're not. And we're going to have bumps in the road. You know, we've, we've won two, we've lost two. Um, we would like to have won four, but so would everyone else. So leagues aren't won in the first three weeks of the season. Um, but what you've got to do, it gives you an eye opener to what you need, gives you an eye opener to what you've got to do and how to get better. And it also gives the players an eye opener to what they've got to do.